Now, whenever you take a child inside the operation theater, 99% of the times the child is crying. The child wants to be with his mother or his father and that's why the child is crying because of stranger anxiety. When children cry, they produce a lot of oral secretions. The problem with these oral secretions is two. One is the minute you give anesthesia to the patient, these secretions can go into the trachea and they can get aspirated. The second problem is after giving anesthesia, when you try to intubate, the secretions fill the airway or the oral cavity and as a result of this, you are not able to see anything. So you cannot intubate easily and you have to suction out all the secretions and makes visualization difficult. So to take care of both of these situations, we use anti -silogox. So in anti we prefer drugs like glycopyrrolate, which is given in the dose of 4 mics per kilogram or we can give atropin to our patient, okay? The problem with IV atropin is that it causes prolonged tachycardia. So we don't prefer atropin, we prefer glycopyrrolate. Also, if you are giving anti in the cath lab or in some small procedure in which you are just giving monitored anesthesia care, on giving atropin, patient feels very, very dry in the mouth. So they keep swallowing their saliva and they keep telling you I'm feeling very dry, I need water, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. So that makes it even more difficult to give monitored anesthesia care in these patients. So drug of choice as anti is glycopyrrolate. Mm -hmm.